The following is an excerpt from Disc 2, Story 7, Volume 1 of In the Room with Milton H. Erickson, M.D. To purchase these DVDs, please go to MiltonEricksonDVDs.com. Thank you. All my residents in psychiatry, some one of them put in hypnosis, some didn't. And I would lecture, and I suffered fall asleep. The other that had been hypnotized, say we be very gentle, and the others being allowed to sleep. And those who had been hypnotized and slept through my lectures remembered them better. And those who would say to wait, and they were listening with unconscious mind. You, I used to assign books to my residents. Tell them, here's a book for you to review. I'll call on you for a review in three or four months' time. I'll give you ample opportunity to read the book digest it thoroughly, or a comprehensive review. And I give them all a book. And about four months later, I call a meeting and say, I've decided to collect the book reviews. I am not so good with I forgot. I forgot. I took the book. I've left it on my desk, waiting for time to read it. I just simply forgot to. Uh, you're given orders. You've forgotten to read the book. That's your tough plug. Today's book review time. And I'm going to call on every one of you and call on the Mount Hypnotic residents and all give a good review. And I call on the hypnotic subject. And they would protest again. They had read it. I say, all right. Take some paper. And summarize what you think is in chapter three. And summarize what you think is in chapter seven and chapter nine. Then we how can I guess what the author put in the hotel? And guess away. And no way out, you're going to do it. They will write desperately. And after they turned in their written work, I had their books there. We compare what they thought should be in chapters three or seven with what was actually in chapter three or seven. They would say, how did I know that? They had read the book and I'm trying to say. They remembered it better, but they had no conscious knowledge. They had read the book, and the knowledge was in their heads and available at the right time. You often hear, for example, doctor saying, I don't know how I did that right. I really didn't know how to do it. I was working in surgery. The idea came to me to do it this way, so I did it this way and it turned out to be right. It's something you learn unconsciously. And our unconscious learning is retained much longer 
as that's all available as our conscious knowledge. And our unconscious knowledge comes forth when it's needed. And so I tried to teach my subject, don't just rely on your conscious mind. Your unconscious mind knows a lot more than you do. It's a lot brighter. And it has everything you learn at its fingertips. And consciously you say, this is a terrible problem. I wonder how you work it. Your unconscious knows how to work it, and you turn it over your unconscious. Your unconscious mind will solve it very easily.